So what do they do about this clinical shyness, this almost terminal melancholy? They come to places like this. There are 2,000 of them in the country. Pay their 50 markas, that's about $12, and take part in what has become a kind of national obsession, the tango. <laughs> It's difficult to understand and impossible to exaggerate the importance of this Tango Finlandia. It can come upon a Finn anytime, anywhere, in the street, in the forests which cover nine-tenths of the country. And on public holidays, official fun days as they're called, tens of thousands will tango together. <laughs> tango halls are everywhere. For the lunchtime crowd on Helsinki's most fashionable avenue, the Mannerheim Inca Tooth. And to tango the night away, there are halls in the deep, deep woods. All the halls have one thing in common, a sign like this one. It is a shield against shyness. It indicates when it's okay for a man to ask a woman to dance, and vice versa. For a nation that finds shaking hands an overly intimate ordeal, just imagine the terror of touching a stranger's waist or shoulder. But the tango and this flashing light have become the official license to touch. The music and that illuminated word say it all. Not a further word need be said. It's all accepted within these, these very strict of Finnish social being. And um, they, don't have to think, they don't have to think of what to do next. I mean, they don't have to be spontaneous and it's not uh, overtly sexy, which is something they're very afraid of. And so it's, it's all... It's all very well defined for them. There are strict rules to finish tango. The women stand on one side, as you've seen. The men stand on the other. The men. For them, there is an unwritten code of behavior. It's good if the man is sober enough to be able to make half of the dance steps and not step on the woman's feet too much. He should not smell of vomit or anything. And then... He should not sort of try to impose himself on the woman. He, he shouldn't make the woman feel uneasy. He, he should be the perfect gentleman. The corners of tango halls look like handbag heaven. It reflects more the basic honesty of Finns than wild, girlish abandon. The Finnish tango is not to be confused with the groin grinding passionate Latin American version. The Finns have managed to neutralize all that. It's a sad shuffle in a minor key, with lyrics to reaffirm a couple's instinctive sense of hopelessness. Lyrics is very important because the stories are quite sad and melancholy stories, and they are they are necessary to Finnish people. Ilpo Hakasolo is Finland's renowned historian of tango and the nation's leading tango judge. An upbeat tango, he says, is unthinkable. No one would understand it. It might as well be in Japanese. Why this sadness? Because uh, we are um, very melancholy uh, people here in Finland. And, the, and we need that. Is it beyond just melancholy? Is it pessimistic in the sense that there will really be not much of a future for me? Perhaps it is not totally pessimistic, but very many other uh, stories in the songs, uh, of course they are love songs, but uh, the most popular item is love that is over or love that you are still waiting and you have waited that for 20 last years 
and you are almost sure that it never will come. <laughs> the Finnish male is very prone to uh, self-pity. Uh, so we have a lot of tango songs, for instance, which uh, are written by males. What are the stories? Of the sorrow, 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 sorrow. Sorrow, sorrow, yes. sorrow. Yes, loss of uh, loved ones. Uh, and the words go, you took my brain away. You actually took my sense away. Make me your slave. Promised me it would be good between us, but it only lasted for a moment. And then you left me, and then it's to oh, me. The tango singer has become the speaking surrogate for the silent fan. He or she says things that no mere civilian would dare utter publicly or even privately. Arya Koroseva has performed this public service just about every night since she was crowned Tango Queen of Finland in 1989. Somehow I feel when I sing tango that I'm talking with their lips. They are not speaking their shy but they would like to say the things I'm saying, maybe. <laughs> Aria says that when she started performing, she was considered a freak by Finnish standards. Why is that girl laughing, the critics asked. Her audiences have learned to glumly accept this jolly and eccentric chanteur. But are they having fun? They do, but they just, just doesn't show it. I don't know why. <laughs> But quite apart from the, these men you see in the dance floors, do Finnish men find it difficult to talk to you, for example? Older men uh, will speak with, to me easily than the younger ones. Maybe that's why I'm a single. <laughs> each other that they love each other no oh my god no no not even i mean even lovers i think well i'd say you could say it once in a lifetime if you say you have been married for for 20 years perhaps your spouse is on her deathbed you could comfort her with saying i love you <laughs> but uh, it's not funny it's easier to me to say like to my boyfriend that I love you. It's we have heard it on, on TV, on movies. <laughs> it's easier to me to say I love you than Mina Rakastan Sinu. It doesn't turn very nice if I say I love you in you Finnish. You're slightly embarrassed when you say it in Finnish. <laughs> yeah. But we don't use I love you so much as you do. You love almost almost everybody. <laughs> When a Finnish guy or man said, I love you, he really means it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Murphy, I want you.